Dano, I'm Shelly from Six Nations Daycare and today we're going to do the Very Hungry Caterpillar as a math activity. Let's get started. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. So on Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he got a stomach ache. The next day was Sunday again, and the caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself, and he stayed inside there for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon and pushed his way out. And when he came out, he was a beautiful butterfly. So another activity they can do with the hungry caterpillar is to put the numbers down in the order that, that it happens so that they learn um, the sequencing part of it. That way they can practice over and over again what order that they go in. And I made this um, paint stick and, um, into the caterpillar shape and um, the kids can practice sequencing by um, pinning on the order in which the story happened. 